Welcome to Easy Company Collectibles, and welcome to the Doctor Reissue Strange Edition of Biopass here on Comic Concepts. We're at ComicConcepts.com. I was going to say .org, but it's not an organization. It's not communism. It's Today we're going to be looking at Spider-Man, No Way Home, Doctor Strange. I see what you did, Hot Toys. I see what you did. Um, of course... Two ninety nine, prices are climbing. Oh no, easy! It comes with a dioramic base. Oh, okay, cool, cool story. You can use your new, never before seen Doctor Strange with a crazy base, can't you? Can't you? Easy. So we got a shipping quote of twenty twenty three quarter one with a two ninety nine price tag. That price tag is probably going to be more elsewhere because other websites are juju. This one is not. Doctor Strange, stop tampering with the spell. That's all we get. Haven't seen the movie yet. I don't think it came out yet as of the making of this video, but it is a one of the year biggest movies, I'd say, because of the you know whereabouts of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, all kinds of mixes being in this movie, so everybody's eager to see what it is. So please, no spoilers until then. So we're looking at the Doctor Strange, basically same exact dude as the other ones. I mean, this guy we got before we know, and Hot Toys, am I surprised that you're doing this? You're just milking the crap out of reissues. This is a reuse. This is a reuse. I'm sick of it. I don't like it. Let's continue. So Doctor Strange here on Comic-Con 29, quarter 1, 2023. Pricing a bit high. Um, That's for me, though. I mean, I'm just... I'm just bickering in talent, telling you the idea of what I think. So if you don't like what I think, then why are you watching? You're here for the for the fun, for the party. And Doctor Strange inevitably looks good. I mean, we uh, came to know and love this sculpt already, and they did an amazing job. I don't see no curls. They could have done some more, like, loose hair. But I guess I wanted him more clean cut for the movie. As you can see, more of the Spider-Man juju going on in the film as to what we saw in the scene when he was winding back. If I could turn back time. And stuff like that. So that's going to be a little bit of cool stuff going on. I mean, you have a little effects here and there added. Other than that, really, we have seen this stuff before. You have the little Jumanji game going on that he's playing. Um, his weird, you know, fingers and stuff like that. Spider-Man, obviously, and we do have a bit of a weathered version over here. This is a weathered black suit Spider-Man. Just little black marks here and there. With a little mother box from Justice League. Um, you get the nice base. I do like these bases. Although they take up a lot of real estate, I do like these bases. Um, these are incredible bases. Uh, a little bit of tip coming from me. We know this figure already. We know what what it is i mean i'm sure he, he's got a change of boots maybe or a change of something but inevitably it's a reused figure i mean we're getting the same stuff probably a different pattern in his cape or whatever it's not the same thing easy fine whatever dr strange really we could have had other characters you know we know green goblin is coming put out green goblin help us out a little bit but uh, that little tip I was going to say is recycle your figures, guys. And what I mean by recycle, wh what does that mean, Easy? What does the recycle your figures mean? What does that have to do with my trash can? Well, buy and sell. Uh, don't keep your figures in your collection forever. Not one single of these figures are worth keeping forever. They will remake them and they will retake them. There will be variants of them. These characters are just way too popular to just die out. So, with that being said, like my collection, I keep it thin, not too crowded, and I keep it turning. The only figures I keep forever are figures I know that will not come for either A, a long time, or B, never again. And that's the only time I keep a figure. I don't see a need to hold on to figures such as Doctor Strange, Spider-Man. There's going to be countless Spider-Mans. There's going to be countless Doctor Stranges. And obviously, they're showing off a wired cape here. So with that being said, I mean, they got plans for three more like Spider-Mans uh, from what I've heard in rumors. 
And then the movie didn't even come out yet. We've yeah, definitely going to get more suits, more stuff like that. So cool beans. I do like this going on. It looks like real hair. I like the sculpt on uh, the Cumberbach, whatever you call this guy. He, his sculpt is amazing. I love the Doctor Strange sculpt. It is beautiful. It looks amazing. The whole tailoring, the whole outfit is amazing. So if this is your first Doctor Strange, you get it. You get it. It just works so well because it's just a newly updated thing. It's just brand new. I love it. So if you don't have it, beautiful figure. Um, people who know me from before, I, I am not into Marvel. But when it came to this guy, I really love what I saw just beautiful head sculpt and tailoring is dx worthy and nothing to deteriorate like pleathery type materials um the boots i think is a split boot design so you don't have to worry about the pleather there so this does come with a lot of stuff um obviously 299 is 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 a big chunky monkey but it does come with a dynamic base esque type style um harry potter's snitch Golden Snitch. And then you have this big whip from the Balrog. You have Justice League's Mother Box. And you have the Jumanji playing box thing here. And then you have a bunch of rings and a necklace. So, with that being said, $2.99, I think it's adequate. I think it's adequate given the fact that the figure is almost a DX level of tailoring and worksmanship. I think it's a good, I think it's all right. Um, of course, two ninety nine is coming concept surprise. I'm sure it's pushing three oh nine elsewhere, but um, like I said, this is a good figure for your starters on uh, even Avengers and Infinity War guys who missed out on Doctor Strange, End Game people who still don't have him and wanting you know a good Doctor Strange. This is the newly you know the newest rendition of the figure or the guy. So this would be a good buy, a little bit of Wakanda action here. So this would be a good buy, I think, for the first time, first timers. For people who has this guy, pass it. You don't need to get this. Unless you're a hardcore Spider-Man guy and you want to make scenes, or like my guy Dante at Manaha Collectibles, he's buying like two Pennywises just so he can display them with both head sculpts. Now that's not my style. I just do one per. Even if I have two head sculpts, I have to have one. I can't have a copy. It just looks more like a... I don't know, like a mess to me. But I'm not hating on that idea. I'm just saying that's my personal opinion. So if you're like that, you can have multiple character uh, variants. So if you're a completionist, that's for you. But you're those people who just one and done. If you already have a Doctor Strange, I say keep the one you got. If you don't get this guy, he's a good addition. Ooh, it's an LED light-up platform, so LEDs. Hit up Fusion Reactors on Instagram. They're a good place to get your lights. And other than that, it's good. It's good. It's okay. I don't like they're reusing a lot, you know, going back to... Doc I mean, what are you going to do? Not release a Doctor Strange from the Spider-Man, one of the biggest movies of the year? What Are you, are you not going to do that? So I see you, Hot Toys. I see you. What are you coming out with? This release, it's kind of cool. I, I, I really think this is like Wired, his, his little suit down here, skirt. So what what I'm trying to say, if you ain't got them, get them. If you like Spider-Man, all this Infinity War and Marvel stuff, get them. But if you have them already and you're thinking, I, got, I, I mean, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Stay with what you, get, what you got. I think f for them to release this is obvious. I mean, how can you not? It's, it's one of the year's biggest films and with one of the year's biggest characters. They got to do it. They got to do it. That's Hot Toys... As a company, they have to do it. So, buy or pass. And I told you why for each reason. So, if you like what you saw here in Easy Company Collectibles, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, stick to comic concepts. They do good stuff. Click the, click, click, click the link below to get straight to their website, which will take you through this guy right here. And, ooh, happy holidays. You can get, I think right now they're doing a 15% on all rewards on in-stock orders. So, 15% extra rewards. Cool stuff, right? They get statues and everything. So, I'll see you guys later. Figurama on Easy Company Collectibles.